Hi everyone, this is Jackie again, and I'm going to show you a little cuff to go with my daisy face. Same colors, um, really pretty green and teal that I made. And I started out doing it with a sponge, but as you can see, I'm not really happy with that. So I'm going to switch over to my three quarter, my three quarter flat, and I've gone ahead and loaded it up. We're going to take the blue and stay right on the outside, and we're going to come across the rest. Now you can come around, um, if you are painting it on a little kit or something, you can come around and actually go all the way on the back side. I'm not going to do that, um, I'm just going to do the top side. So there I've gone around and done the wrist and I want to put some blue on the bottom too. So I'm going to overlap the green and um, just bring the blue across. So that way we have a nice little cuff. It's about an inch wide. Um, you want to make sure that everything looks even across and that it's blending well. And we're going to flip over and we're just going to come back and do the same thing. And I think we've got a pretty decent blend going on there. I really like it. We want to give that a couple minutes, well not a couple minutes, but a few seconds to dry um, so that we can start putting our daisy on there. Now, like I did in the um, previous video of the daisy face, I um, did the circles in the color. This time I'm doing the band in the color. And then I'm going to come back and just do my daisies with um, white. So I'm going to go ahead and load my brush up with some white. And I think this is a cool little design to go with the daisy face. You can also do like a, um, a ribbon down the arm with some daisies over the ribbon if they want a little bit of an arm design or you could do a necklace with it. You could do any kind of design with it that you want to. Um, I just like the wrist thing because I think a lot of kids like bracelets. Um, so that's looking like it's, it's drying up pretty good. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create our, our daisy on there and I'm going to go ahead with the um, noon 369 thing like I did in the previous video. It kind of helps me to get a good looking daisy and um, mind you I'm doing this sideways. <laughs> so anyway um, the daisy can stick up and below the color that's fine. Um, I actually prefer it to a little bit. So I'm going to start at 12 o'clock and I'm going to lay down a nice teardrop and stop right in the middle of the green there. And then I'm going to come down with my 6 o'clock and I'm going to go do the same thing and kind of stop right in the middle. I'm going to keep grabbing the white paint because we want to make sure that the white stays good and white. The colors do show through and that's what makes it so pretty. But um, for the most part you want to make sure that the white is not too washed out. And there's my nine and here's my three. So we've got a good little start there and then that way I'm going to make sure I get a good proportion daisy. Come back up here, pull and just keep adding your teardrops until you get the daisy you want. Now you could stop there, that's a pretty good daisy, but I want to continue and go in between each one that I've done. I like a good full daisy. And like I said in the previous video of the daisy face, this gives you a good shaped daisy and um, I kind of like it nice little design there. I'm just going to um, pull out from the side and do a little curly cue and I'm using kind of a thick brush for this but it works and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to swoop down and give it a nice curl Sometimes you got to break it up a little bit because it's hard to get around that wrist. I should have actually gone to a smaller brush, I think, only because 
switching brushes for me for different sizes right now being that I'm fairly new is is much easier for me than trying to create with the brush I already have I guess that would be a cheat huh? and so there you can see I have a nice swirl on one side and a nice swirl on the other side the next thing that I'm going to do and I am going to switch brushes for this because it'll be much easier for me and I'm going to go down to a number two brush here um, and I'm just going to do some flicks um, coming up right in here and I'm going to go in towards the um, towards the curl that way my flicks come out heading outwards and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side got to remember to go in the opposite direction I think my brush is a little dry there we go so uh, there you can see that and uh, I'm going to go over a couple of these daisy spots because I can see that a few of them are pretty light. We're just going to give them a little bit more white to them. Because we don't want them too washed out, then you can't really tell what it is. Okay, so there we go. We've got a whiter daisy. Now I'm going to take and load up my yellow. I need to make my center there. So we want to get a good coating of the yellow on there. And I got a chunk there I'm fighting with. <laughs> but we're going to come right in the center of the daisy and we're going to give it a nice center. I like to go a little bit on the big side and I like to try and keep it um, somewhat ovaled like that and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to pick up my little tiny liner brush that I used before um, that's a paradise brush and it is a AQ810 pick up just a little bit of that orange you want to make sure you get some strong color on there because you want that orange just to give that center a little bit of depth and we're going to come right underneath it from say the nine o'clock to the three o'clock position or if you're right-handed probably the three to the nine position and we're just going to give it a little bit of a, a depth there so that you have have it looking in at the daisy now you can outline this you can do anything you want with it you can add little curly cues on the top and bottom whatever you choose I just think it's a really cute little cuff I'm trying to get a good angle here so you can see what I did um, for a child who is going to have the daisy face it's just a little added something extra of course you can put glitter on there I'm not going to right now um, but you can do that so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you think thank you bye bye